what you guys are needing and wanting. But thank you very much for coming. One of the things that I've noticed, obviously I see all the figures in the back office and who's moving forward and who's not. And obviously I have conversations throughout the week. So one of the things that I've noticed, and I don't know if you're finding this at all, Nick, and I don't know if you're, she's on, you're on your daughter's iPad again, aren't you? Murder, 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 murder. Are you finding that you're having a bit of a mental block at the moment? I'll mute yourself because it's only the four of us. Have you seen the, the post that Lynn's trying to come on but she's got to leave at 8.30? No, I didn't see that but that's fine. Yeah. Do you respond for me, Kevin? Do you want me to respond? Fantastic. I'm not even looking at it. Nick, how are you finding? Are you finding that you're flying or you're at a mental block? I'm just finding nobody seems to be interested in biting at the minute. So... Right, I'm going to go through this slide deck and I'm going to give you a few little, little tips of what I'm doing. There's a few little things in here to help you with this as well. So just quickly let Lynn in and then I'll get going with it. Hiya Lynn, thank you darling. I know you've got to go in 25 minutes so thank you for coming, much appreciate it. The time we're in right now is really rare. And the reason for it is, is what I want you to do is I want you to think back, think back at the very beginning when you started networking. When you started networking and you walked into the company that you was in, I bet you any money you thought this. I bet you thought, Oh my God, I wish I'd been in it right at the start. Nick, how long have you been in networking? Oh, two years now. Okay, the company you joined with, did you think that when you started? Um, no, I was just interested in sort of learning how it all, how it all works. Okay. What, what, what about yourself, Kevin? Because I know you used with Utility Warehouse. That's a very, very large company. Oh, I go back to the Amway days initially. Oh, do you? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was there at a telephone and turning up in a hotel lark. Um, <laughs> Were you there at the very beginning of that company, or was there no. thousands of reps before you? Thousands before me, thousands. Okay. And had and had you wanted to get in at the start if you had the opportunity to do so? I don't know if I, I don't know. I don't know that I would have understood it at the start at that point because that was totally new. Well, put it like this: when I started networking. The first company that I started off with was New Skin. And there were thousands, there, yeah, thousands and thousands of reps. I was, I was there the first day they launched in the UK, up in wherever it was. Well, I wasn't. And I remember looking at it all and thinking to myself, I can do this. I know I can do this. Why wasn't I at the start before everyone else knew about it? Because what I found was, is that it was a saturated market. It was very, very saturated. But we don't have that with what we've got here because <clears throat> if you look at it right now, you are actually in a position whereby you are actually at the start of Trevorium. We've got exactly from today, 13 days until this launches. Is Tr Trevorium then the launching of the new name just to, designed to be able to say that like, it, it started today because it's the merger of this and that? By the travel okay, agent. Okay. Is it the, is the timing so that we're able to say the new name Trevorium is, the, is a truly new start because it's merging P2S and the trading? Well, there was always going to launch Trevorium, weren't they? But the thing about it was is that we was not going to have the trading with it. Now we've got the trading with it. Makes sense you, no. mm. Exactly. How many other companies do you know that offer the package that we're going to be delivering in 13 days' time? They've either got one or the other. They don't have the both. Mm -hmm. So you're on the ground floor before even the marketing material has fully been given to us. Mm -hmm. You're on the ground floor. Mm -hmm. 
this company, if you look at look at what this company is as well. This company is not just a new style, but what is happening here at the moment is that we've got a situation whereby people are looking at it thinking, I don't understand tr um, trading. So they're just sitting back. They're not <laughs> letting their ignorance just come on fire and they're trying to get as much knowledge as possible and they're sitting on ice and not moving. Nick, you nodded your head. That's me. I'm not clued up with this trading stuff. You don't need to be. Right. You really, really do not need to be. Think about it. How can you be clued up on something that hasn't started? Right. What you what you need to be doing is having conversations with people. You're not having them, are you? Just on the travel side, I've not said anything about this because I didn't know. I didn't feel like I knew enough about about anything to to talk about it. Do you know what I mean? You do not need to have loads of knowledge about this at all. Right. What mm. this is it, okay? Because you yes. don't need to be sitting there like this. You need to go all in because mm. this opportunity is really, really rare. You do not get this, and I'll show you what we've got as I move through with this. So basically, what's been happening, and I'm gonna watch you nod, and gonna, this is coming. Over the last 17 days, I bet you've said to yourself, mm, yeah, next I'll get that done in a little bit, I'll do that tomorrow, I'll do that later, but yeah, I haven't gone now. Because you've been sitting back thinking I need more knowledge. Mm -hmm. You've not remembered the very simple term of networking. Ignorance on fire is a lot more powerful than knowledge on ice. So you don't need to, you don't need to know everything about it how can you know everything about something that started so you need to stop procrastinating because what is happening is every time you go to network you talk yourself out of it and i know that i can talk very very freely on this call because i see the figures in the back office i have a busy life as well i understand uh, that you've got some people got businesses children at home can't you know you've got commitment here there and everywhere but the thing about it is is that you find yourself procrastinating every time you go to actually network this you talk yourself out of it are you finding yourself before you know it you're scrolling and you look at something else I've still been sort of chatting and I've still been commenting on sort of little bits of, you know, if anyone's had a photo of travel and stuff like that on, I've still been, you know, like what Lawrence was saying before, getting in and talking about, you know, where that looks awesome, where's that at? And, you know, I've still been chatting about the travel side of it. I just it, didn't mention that this was coming. Huge. This is huge. Absolutely huge. Remember what Daryl said the other week? He has been promoting the forex he, he's just filling them in one after the other on free accounts and it's exactly the same link as what you have for your normal travel link because it's the same matrix system but what he's got what's happening is is as he's filling them in and because they're taking this free spot and they know that they're going to be able to make money from home with no selling or recruiting i mean nick that's so powerful think about all the people that you know around you at the moment especially from the travel industry who have got to build a bit they've got to build a team right now because it's the only way they can make money you that turn around and say that slide would be a cracking slide to use as a, a promotional post well kevin it is in the chat that slide is in the chat i've already given it out yeah i must have missed that one then yeah, I'll, I'll grab it off the slideshow. I literally put six or seven slides in the other day for people to use in the Facebook story. I've done it deliberately so it's catchy like that, so you can put some music behind it. So as people are flicking through the Facebook story, what's that? Mm -hmm. So that when you are busy, you've got the attraction marketing there as well. Because it is really difficult at times when you've got that mental block and it's like, where do I start? I don't understand what I'm talking about. 
I, I understand how difficult that is. And I'll tell you how I understand how difficult that is, is that when I started the job that I've been in for the last five years, they didn't even give me a script. I was like, what? And I muddled my way through it. But you guys don't have to muddle your way through it. If you look at the stuff in the A-Team chat, exactly what you just said, Kevin, you'd like to use that. It's already there. Mm -hmm. There's... How many days ago was it? So I know far back the scroll. I think I put it in Tuesday. Yeah, okay, I'll find them. Yeah, unless she did it on Tuesday, the Tuesday or Monday morning, yeah. put them in for a little bit of help. There's, I'll, I'll, once I've gone through the slide deck, I'll show you what ones I've got. Um, I believe, yeah, they should be on my Telegram. So I should be able to find them that way. But we've got, this is what I said, we've got such a rare opportunity right now. There's people at the moment who are sitting at home who want to earn money from home. They don't know where to start. We've got a huge educational platform coming out at the moment whereby we can teach them a skill set that they would never have been able to be taught to that before. So it is time to start smashing through the barriers. It really is. So what you need to do is you need to change a little bit of the way that you are talking to people. So why don't you just ask them, do you like Forex trading? Come out with it. If you don't ask that question, how are you going to know if they like it or not? I know that a lot of people do not like to do the same pitch and send it out to 50 people. I, I understand that with the way that a lot of people are taught to network in the UK, they don't like to network that way. So you want to have a little bit of a tar tar tell you want a conversation get going. But you know what? Ask that question. Another variation on that would be, do you understand Forex trading, I guess? Well, see, the thing about it is, is if you say to them, do you like Forex trading? They're going to say either yes or no. And if they say no, you can then turn around and say to them, have you had an experience of it before? Mm -hmm. You can then get that conversation going. But unless you ask that question, how can you get that conversation going? You can't steer that conversation how you want it to go unless you ask that question. But if you've got somebody asking, like, what business are you in? Am I saying, are you going down this route or are you going down the travel route or are you saying a mixture of both? Okay, so when someone asks me what business that I am in, the first response that I give them is the business that I am in is showing people how to earn money from home, from yeah. their mobile phone. Yeah. I can show them where they can build uh, a business, where they can recruit. I can show them whereby if they want to earn money without recruiting, we've got something that we're in pre-launch at the moment very rare opportunity. The reason why it's such a rare opportunity is because, and I'm going to pull this off the slide deck in a minute, it's an eight-year-old company paid that millions of commission already. So when people ask me what I do, I don't just go, I do Forex, I do travel. I actually say to them, this is what I do, because what I do, with the call we're having here right now, this is what I do. I help people earn money from home. Yeah. Then they ask how to do that. What I then will then turn around and say to them, I'm a travel trader. What's that? Well, I'm glad you asked. It, it, I keep it really simple, Nick. Simple as possible. The, the trick to get someone to have a full-on conversation with you about what you want to speak about is at times to be a bit blunt. Mm -hmm. You can go around the houses all day, but if you go around the houses all day, are you actually going to get to your end goal? Another thing I'll ask people, you know, is your phone making you money? What do you mean, is your phone making you money? Well, for the last couple of years, I've earned quite a bit of money off my phone. Is your phone making you money? These are not just about, do you like to travel? Do you like Forex? This is, is your phone making you money? I mean, how direct can you get with that? Mm -hmm. Someone says to you, well, what do you mean? Well, yeah, yeah, my phone's making me money. Then you could then turn around and say to them, are you having to build big teams for that? Or are you having to sell a lot of product? Those two questions alone will take me whatever way I want a conversation to go. It's easy to ask someone something like that. It's not rude. If they get offended by it, well, they clearly weren't ever going to go anywhere with anything like this. They get offended by it. All you have to do is just turn around and say, do you know what? I didn't mean to offend you, but with everything that's going on, 
a lot of people have got more than one income coming mm-hmm. through. Are you the same? Are you protecting yourself so that, you know, if anything happens, you lose your job, you can support your family? That's why I ask, is your phone making you money? I know they're not the sort of like questions like normally you'd be like, right, okay, so I've got to go on about four weeks, so I've just, just, you know, would you like to join this, 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 this. I want to get people thinking about things. So I'm asking them questions that are going to make them think so then I can have a conversation with them because we have got such a rare opportunity here. And it only takes a couple of questions to get a conversation flowing. It's all it takes. And that's what needs to be done. Another one here. How are you and your family? Is everything okay? And you're not being affected by this. That's going to get someone to open up. When I ask someone something like that, they don't feel like they're being prospected by me. Not in the slightest. Not at all. That's when they'll say, yeah, it's okay, but you know what, you know, on furlongs ended in October, then I can then go. Are you making money from your phone? Yeah, well, I get a lot of conversations like that. Obviously, people sitting in the chair. So, you know, saying they're on about work and they're worrying about this lockdown and Mm -hmm. redundancies or whatever. First question you should be asking, Nick, are you making money from your phone? Have you ever asked anyone that question? Yeah. And what was their response? Some Some were already network marketers, so some are... Some are saying yeah, and then obviously some are saying no, but then they're not interested, so. But you know what, the ones that are network marketers, do you ever spin it on them with what we've got right now? Are you having to build big teams or sell a lot to make, you know, good money? I've chatted quite a bit with a few of them. They've asked for information and stuff. So it's just keeping in touch and following up every now and again, you know. Bring them to me, Nick. Bring them on a call with me and I'll close them for you. Yeah. Kevin, what am I like? Like a, like a, you, know, you won't let them go. You don't get, you know, you get, you get the result. You, you got the answer to everything they say, basically. Um, I can do it quick, quick, quick on my, on, yeah. on my feet. Mm. And yeah, because we've all been on the other end of it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what you mean, then. When I, when Sam said to me about joining, I just said yes. <laughs> I didn't have to say a lot at all. <laughs> but it's like. You guys have got other businesses as well. You can ask this with other businesses. These are just get you talking, get you talking. Because that's the first hurdle to get over, isn't it? Let's get that conversation going. And let's be honest about it. People are not numbers. So you want to ask them a question that doesn't make them feel like a number. And those questions don't make people feel like numbers. Because you can say it in a way whereby it's just literally pushed in so you don't so don't let a mental wall block you i don't i refuse to i'll have a little little chit chat and if i'm having one of my days which we do have at times where i think oh okay where do i start today oh i'm not in the right frame of mood for it i will literally put on music or i will take myself straight back to my why and i'll look at my children and then I think to myself, I don't need to have a mental block because I started this years ago and I'm further down the line than what I was 10 years ago. And if I could do it, then I can do it now. So I refuse to have that mental block. I'll do anything I need to. Nick, you, you're an exercise freak like me. Yeah, get up and do 10, 10 sarge ups, you know, do press ups, do whatever you need to do to make your endorphins race around your body so that therefore you switch straight back on. And power up to be the person that you really are. Don't be like this. Don't be unorganised. If you've got a really, really busy lifestyle, whereby you've got not, you've got limited time to what you need to do. What you need to do is you need to get yourself really, really organised. And one of the best tricks that I learned when I was very busy with this. Instead of being on my phone and thinking, all oh, right, okay, I've got 15 minutes, who do I talk to now? The night before, I would write down the names of the people that I want to speak to the next day. And this is, I can sit that in the back of my pocket, back, back pocket. 
pull it out. You've got the phone in one, this in the other. Pull it out. Five minute glass, five minute glass, five minute glass. You've only got to do it, what, four times a day? And that will enable you to contact 20 people a day. You contact 20 people a day during the daytime. When you get back at home, you've got people to respond to and start to connect to me properly with your business. Because one of the things that's very difficult is that if you do have a day job and you're out all day with the, with the job or you've got kids, you're out, you know, you're very, very busy, you only have, say, a couple of hours a day to actually move your business forward, it's very difficult where to start if you've not organised it the day before and you've set a little bit up as you've gone throughout the day. Because as you set it up as you go throughout the day, it will enable you to literally start. You contact at least 20 people a day. Let them know that they can be at the start of this. This is huge what we've got here. All the other companies that I've seen in Forex, they're three-legged matrices. Ours is only two. Not only that, we've got the travel package that we can put into it, which therefore means that we can earn more money with less people. We can show people that they can earn as they learn. This is huge, absolutely huge. You don't need to have all the knowledge. All you need to do is you need to ask some basic questions and then get the video out and then get them on a three-way call. It is literally that simple. But it's just asking the questions. Which video are you using for your first? I am using the teaser video that we've got. I will send both the videos to you that I use. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you've got the we've got the video that we've got on the front within the company itself. I also use, if it's somebody that I've known, I've worked with before, they don't really want to tease a video. They want a 20 minute gutsy, let's, I want to see what's going on. I use Todd's video. Right. And then if they want to see more about the company and the way that the CEO operates, I use David's very first one. Excuse me. Because I'm going to have to go. Gonna have to go. No worries, Lynn. Thank Can you, you send so me much. those links as well, please? I will do, my darling. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye. bye. Lynn. That's, that's what I do, Nick. I, when I first started with what we're doing with the, the Forex, when David did his hour-long presentation, I literally played it wrote it out word for word. I stopped it, wrote, wrote, wrote it out word for word. Because then that gave me the guts of what I needed to get going with. But I know that I don't need all that knowledge because we haven't started. We're in the present moment of where people get funneled in because we haven't started yet. Get your spot, get your spot, get your spot, get your spot, get your spot. This company's been around for eight years. And we can offer them the free 30 days. Correct. Right. Correct. And you build it straight down in the lines, like where I've shown before with the power lines. Yeah. Okay, so you literally straight down, one after the other. Because if you build it on your power lines, then that therefore means is that they've only got to build one side of their business because the power lines are being built. But this company paid out millions in commission. We've got a CEO that walks into any industry and disrupts it. We are not the new guys on the block. We're not. On the video that David did as he launches, he said himself he's earned seven figures in this industry. He knows what he is doing. But he is only as good as the people around him. And if we're not spreading the word, then how can the company move forward in the way that we know it can really move forward? We've got to spread the word. We don't just owe it to the company, we owe it to ourselves. You will not get a chance like this. What you'll normally get is a company that starts up that's got no financial backing to it, that hasn't even done its first year's tax. That's what you normally get. You do not get a company that's eight years old, 
paid out millions in commissions with a CEO that's been runner up to Inc at the age of 24. You don't get this. This is rare. And this is why I say, seriously, go all in. Just ask them, do they like it? You know, are you earning money off your phone? If they say yes, what are you doing? Okay, so are you building big teams? You're selling lots? I bet that's loads of hours. I used to do that, but I'm now going to be putting myself in a position whereby I'm going to learn a skill and I'm only going to have to work a couple of hours a day moving forward. That's what I'm doing. There will be loads of people that you speak to that are in networking. Of course there will be because that's the environment that we're in. But you need to investigate to see how these people feel. What's really going on with their network? Are they having to put loads of hours in and getting nothing back? Would it not make more sense to put that hour into themselves and get more back moving forward? Mm -hmm. So you don't need to know all the ins and outs of Forex. You need to know how the mind works. And this is why these are mindful questions that you're asking. Yeah. Because everything starts with this. It's not, it's not just about that. It, it's, a, it's how people feel, it's how they think. So don't, don't be frightened, Nick, to, to switch it, switch it completely, because when you switch it completely, you will literally go to the top. I've funneled in eight people in the last nine days. I need to up my game. Kevin's funneled people in this month. Rebecca's not with us. She's uh, obviously celebrating Cyan's birthday. She's funneled in people this month. We were all used to just doing the travel. Kevin, you've never done Forex in your life before, have you? No. Rebecca's never done Forex either. But what we get is we understand that this is a very rare opportunity. And you don't get opportunities like this. You just, you just don't. And that's why you need to let go completely, let go of the emotion. Don't worry at all. Just ask the question. The very, message, very simple question. There's a message in the box from Christina just come in. So at eight forty I'll be there as the zoom on. So it's probably just me tip by then, isn't she? <laughs> Hello, she can see the recording. <laughs> I love Christina, she's great. She's great. Does that make it a little bit easier for you, is what I've said tonight? Yeah. Does it make more sense? Mm -hmm. Judy, does that make more sense to you? You're muted, darling. I'm muted. Yeah, I think so. I've the got art, some notes down to throw in. The art to it is keep it as simple as possible. You don't need to babble a lot and literally puke all over them. You need to get them to engage in conversation with you, but you know where you want your conversation to go. So you have your little ta 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 around it and then you slap in what you want to slap in and you move it how you want to move it. Do it with confidence. Honestly, not many networkers get this opportunity. They don't. I, I, I was lucky I was the first person in the UK with this company. And I know how that felt. That was amazing. It is still amazing. It's still really amazing. But now we're now going into a different venture as well. There's people that really do want to earn money from home. And with the opportunity that we've got here, the company's going to be giving us all the signals as we're learning to do this. Now, bear in mind, they normally only ever give uh, support like this to large financial institutions and large investors. No one can normally get what we get for the Ooh. amount that we're getting. It's been put into an ABC format, so it's going to be idiot proof. If Kevin can do it, if I can do it, you guys can do it. A little bit more confidence in yourself. I know Julie's going to smile in a second. It's coming. It's cracking. Here we go. <laughs> you frozen on me, Julie. No, she hasn't. 
<laughs> Honestly, a little bit more confidence. Know that you've got a company that's got confidence behind it. It disrupts every industry it goes in. I've been in this company for two years and it always delivers. It delivers what it says it's going to deliver. No one's got to put any money in right now. You can give them a spot. It gives them their ID. They can then get on the corporate pages and then they can start seeing what we can see. But unless you speak to them about it, they're not going to know. How many people are going to speak to tomorrow, Nick? As many as possible. <laughs> yeah. Can we do a catch up tomorrow evening? Yeah. Yeah. Would you like a, would you like to catch up with me tomorrow evening as well, Julie? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. What I'll do then is, shall we do a Zoom at eight o'clock tomorrow? I'll put this into the recording. I'll have the recording dropped into the chat in a minute as well for everybody else. And anyone else that wants to jump with me, me tomorrow at eight o'clock and let's see how the day's actually gone, throwing a few things in like that and see what yep. the ground is. Write your objections down as well and bring them to me and I'll go through your objections with you tomorrow evening as well. Okay, yeah. fantastic. Thank you so, so much for giving me your time. I'm going to let you enjoy the rest of your evening and uh, yeah, quick, question, quick question for you though, Sam. Mm -hmm. Is it are we going to stick to eight o'clock moving forward now? And will it be that same link that you send out week after week after week? Shall we do that? I think we shall. Yeah. yeah. I'll keep it to this link because I've already done it, Kevin. I've already <laughs> moved it because I knew right. someone was gonna to say to me, Are we gonna keep this one? Same time, moving forward. So yeah, I've kept it for eight PM. Let's be honest about it. We're all mums, apart from you, Kevin. Yeah. We're mums. We know our children need to be settled by certain times. This sort of time, we can start coming up and do what we need to do for us. So I know we'll get more mo on here moving forward. Now we, now we know that we've gone back to a time that works for everybody. So thank you so much for your time, guys. And thank I'm going to get this loaded straight now. You're fine. You're absolutely fine. I hope that you know, it helps you just go. And tomorrow, just text me throughout the day if you need me. If you're like, just, just text me. I'm never too busy. Never too busy. <laughs> right, that's it. I'll see you later. See you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.